we are in suburb of Yerevan, which is called Bangladesh. Bangladesh, yes. So Why you, Bangladesh? Uh, because when the, it was first uh, first uh, buildings were constructed, it was in 1973-74 when Bangladesh became independent. So there are lots of uh, old Soviet Union high rises here. Uh, why we are here? Because my sister lives here and we will now go further to the place where uh, I spent my childhood. Here we'll see very interesting old Soviet Union buildings. It's a monument for Andranik, uh, very uh, prominent, this way, really, prominent Armenian military general or something. Uh, the street is called Street of Andronik, General Andronik. So here it's, a, it's much nicer to walk because first of all there, it's, a, it's a park area, lots of oxygen uh, and less dust than in center of Yerevan where we are living. Uh, you can have a glimpse of those old high rises. They are old but actually they were still pretty cleverly done because uh, they're quite efficient obviously in comparison to Hong Kong house <laughs> they are also uh, quite big inside uh, there is another park with a church inside but we decided just to probably not to go otherwise it will be dark very soon we just go to this park that has fountains is near the big cinema theater there's cafes and everything inside. A pretty nice and cool area for summers to sit down, bring kids. There seems to be like a big kids zone there with uh, yeah. okay, getting arcade getting games and other things. Yeah, <laughs> what do you want? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Buzz lighter and etc. Tour, latest tour. Big cafe there, you know? Yeah. And, and see the uh, high rises, right? They're like very, very typical high rises. Nice and clean cafe uh, and nice and clean park. Everywhere. Yes, which is, that's why it's clean. It's a simple thing, you, you put them there, people use them. It's yeah. <laughs> she, she decided to have a jump into the water. Yeah. And grandmother panicked. Yeah, nice and cool. Ale with people strolling and having a nice another monument. I don't know who is that. But he's got a um, thing he's been running yeah. as well, don't he? Oh no, Bahan Tedian. He's a poet. Uh, very he has a lot of lyrical poems uh, in Armenians. But there's no people like him. In the center there are like bands which are <laughs> a bit better resembles of him. Looks like he's hurt his boob or something. <laughs> Don't make a joke <laughs> over art, baby. <laughs> yeah, this is a kids heaven. Look how many games and etc. That side. Oh, yeah. yeah. Actually, I forgot also to mention it is called Bangladesh because when it was first constructed, the houses that I will show our our old house. It was so far from center, and uh, people were calling it's as far as Bangladesh. <laughs> That's why, okay? One of the explanations why this region of Armenia is called Bangladesh. Here, I don't need to zoom in, because not very visible, but this was my kindergarten. Okay, unfortunately, all these buildings are now covering it, so we can't see, but this is where I was going when I was about five and six years old before before school. Hi everyone from my kindergarten. Best regards to 
Maga and others. During the 90s, uh, this part was totally tr like destroyed. People were taking uh, trees, the trees, trees chopping out. the trees and uh, using it as a wood. Uh, wood. Teeth, yes, yes. Whatever. But then they recovered everything. So now, now, as you can see, again, yeah. For those nice who don't know, park. that was because of the breakup of the Soviet Union and everything collapsed. Collapsed, yeah, there was no so, gas, no electricity. 30 minutes electric electricity per day for three years for us. So if someone uh, from now on <laughs> comes and tells they lived in hardship, I'm like, oh, really? Yeah. Tell me about it. <laughs> Doing your homework by candlelight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I graduated under the candlelight. And here, you, here, here we go. The apartment on the third floor. I can see now even where I lived from my childhood and this was my father's garden before before they moved and they haven't kept it going very well <laughs> yeah it's uh, totally not maintained now okay my childhood places we are on a teaching uh, street uh, mainly uh, residential low rises of course, all these houses are very, very old because I remember them being here before it, but we moved out. And we are speaking about what, 45 years old. Hello, Margarita. That's the stair house. <laughs> My dear friends from kindergarten. Nice sunset. In Yerevan. Now we are going to cross and I'll show another school where my lots of my friends went to the school and my sister. So this was the school that we didn't go because we went to school which was quite far from our We are in a Babylon restaurant, which is Arabic restaurant, spe specializing on Iraqi Iraqs. Yeah. So, but uh, but you is having old brand new. Yeah, brand new in. It's really nice. Yeah, really proper, proper traditional beer. Yeah, and of course we have we are having this, uh, fantastic Arabic food, which is combination of several hummuses and tabula. We are going to be very light today because we are just not able to get hungry in Yerevan. Yeah, <laughs> well, we've done well today. We've walked over 11 kilometers, so we'll be over 12 kilometers. And that was during, you know, being, I think it was 38, 39 at the kilometers, yeah. but actually we did well. We stayed in the shade. Okay. Bon appetit, baby. Yeah.